This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Whitefire Theater for the opening of Father, Son, and Holy Coach. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with John Posey, actor, writer. I've been out here in L.A. I've been an actor, professional actor, since 1985. I'm also a screenwriter and a playwright. I wrote this one-man show you just saw, Father, Son, and Holy Coach. It started out as a small monologue and snowballed into something to the point where I sold the movie rights a few times. I toured the country with it, and we just thought it'd be a good time to bring it back and uh, see if it still uh, resonates. I, we, we think it's timeless. So tell me, uh, why did you decide to write something like this? Well, I think I had issues with m my dad. I, I got to thinking about that later on in life once I was an adult, and there were those issues of a dad thinking he was a bit of a failure when the fact is he wasn't. So I decided to sort of create a composite of different people to create this dad who had those issues, and this just sort of came, it just pieced together a little bit at a time. It was an unusual way to write it. I didn't have the, I had the end, but not the beginning or the middle, and it just kind of uh, built together like blocks as I wrote it over a period of several months months by the way yeah I really like this performance it actually um, it, it actually uh, brought to life some some demons I had in my life <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, father-son issues, they're always a little awkward. I mean, it, it, it's rare that they're the best friends. There's always something that's a little bit off, and I had that. And I found out when I wrote it, when I first started doing this in 1993, it, it resonated with quite a few men who just, you know, they didn't quite say what they wanted to say before it was too late to say it. Maybe Pops passed on or something like that, and they never quite mended everything. So I thought, let's. this is a guy who's trying to present his son, pr protect him from failure, and unfortunately, he drives the kid away at the same time and so I think it's it might be a bit of a universal story yeah. so tell me also uh, your, ch your children I've noticed that uh, well first of all one of your sons an athletes you, you probably did a little athletic work oh, yeah. yeah yeah I was a wrestler a football player a lacrosse player my youngest son is a, a college baseball player and Tyler here followed my steps as an actor and now his younger brother my son is, is following his and my steps as an actor as well so question, I mean, when you raise your children, and, and this kind of fascinates me because, uh, you know, because the, the show I have is about art and about theater and all that, raising an actor, I've seen some people who actually do this very poorly. They start them in music lessons when they're two, and they have them going all, working them really, almost like a football player, taking them to auditions, driving them to commercials and all that. What is, how did you raise your son? Well, Tyler had to first tell me that he wanted to do it. He seemed to have an inherent understanding and taste for the business as a very young guy. He'd come and watch this play you just saw and sit and watch the entire thing at the age of five and watch the entire play and then talk about it afterwards where most kids would have been asleep. And then I put him in the show for a while and he loved it. We did the last little piece with me. And, and then it was just a matter of time. I, mean, I could tell from when he was two years old that he had, that this was his thing. And my other boy wanted nothing to do with it. So, so uh, you know, uh, I, never, I, never, I never pushed it with him. Um, but with, uh, with, you know, Tyler wanted to do it. I said, well, you, you, they have to tell you. And Tyler also had some immense talent as a little kid. And he's been a, a working actor since he was seven, but he's always loved it. Yes, but still, it's also your job to make sure he's a good human being. He's a, yeah, I, I, I taught him when he became an actor, I said, be humble first. Mm -hmm. You know, you pass people coming up and you pass people going back down again. So always be humble. Remember, it's collaborative. It's not about you. It's about everybody. And he's always hung on to that. People tell me he's one of the nicest kids they've ever worked with. So he's hung on to that piece of advice. Have you always concentrated to, I want this guy to have a real childhood. I want him to go to birthday parties. I want him to actually watch Scooby-Doo. I want him to have fun. You want to ask him? I kind of, I kind of took that on myself. I, I, when I was from, from fourth grade to basically my freshman year of high school, I was homeschooled. And I, I lived in a small town. We grew up in a small town just north of here called Santa Clarita. And um, I knew everybody that lived there. And I wanted to experience um, things that kids experience. I wanted to skateboard. I wanted to go to junior high. I wanted to go to high school. And I did all of those things on my own. So I would, you know, take months, a couple years breaks of, uh, of my work and, um, and experience everything a kid should experience. So even though I had a pretty extravagant childhood where I was traveling to Toronto and, and, and Canada and Mexico and being in a bunch of different movies and TV shows, uh, I still was able to find the balance as a kid, and I didn't know how important that was until you know I grew up and realized how well-rounded it, it 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 made me, you know. So I kind of took it on myself to have a have a normal childhood. Um, but I mean, they my parents helped helped with that immensely, you know. 
Great. And uh, could I have a brief bio of you also? Yeah, I'm Tyler Posey. I started acting. Um, my dad got me into acting when I was about six years old, and I've basically been doing big TV shows and movies ever since. Um, I'm a musician. Um, I, love to, I love to skateboard. I'm a 23-year-old dude who's uh, going on 45, but I still like to be a kid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've got, a, I've got a lot ahead of me right now. Great. And tell me, what do you think about the way your father raised you? I, I just hope I can do it the same with my kids. I literally have a tattoo on me that symbolizes how well he raised me and, and how, how I can't wait to do that with my kids. And I think it was perfect. I don't know. I think it just came so naturally, too. I don't think he really he tried to be anything other than himself and natural. And that's, that's, that's all I know. And I, it was perfect. There's no other way. I may, I may have been spoiled a little bit when I was a kid. Uh, on my little brother's birthday, I would have to go get toys. I would go, we would go to Toys R Us and I'd have to get some toys bought for me as well, but it was, it was the perfect child. It was, he raised me perfect. It was great. Question, what kind of advice would you give for someone who actually, their son wants to get into acting or music, and they're actually very talented. They, they can like play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, one and nine. What kind of advice would you give them? I mean, I, I, I kind of had a weird um, uh, prodigy kind of thing with me too when I was a kid. I was just, I really understood the business and it all came naturally. Let them find it. Let them find it. Don't don't force it on them. Keep the motivation alive. You know, when you if if I don't know, I don't know. Just just have, let it let it happen naturally. Don't push it. Don't force it on anybody. Let 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 them find it on their own. One one last question that I could ask you. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I really liked you in uh, in Teen Wolf because uh, basically I thought. I saw the first few seasons, and I thought you were it was better than the movie. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, we like to think so, too. I mean, I, I would never say it's better than the movie, but it's definitely our own thing. We've, we've gone big lengths with it, and we just had a lot of freedom with it, you know? We, we, we kept some homages to the, to the movie, which was really fun, and, um, but now, it's at, at this point, it's just a completely our own thing, you know? So it's, uh, it's not... I wouldn't say it's better than the movie. It's just, it's just so different. Well, again, I thought you were great in it, and also, also uh, congratulations on this... Uh, producing this because this piece was very good I mean as a father as a as even as, as a sports fan I, I, I could see it touched a lot of things in me I, me too man I honestly like my dad said he hasn't put this on since 2007 and I was probably 15 or 16 then and this is my first time seeing it as an adult and man I it was incredible uh, my emotions were flying and I am so proud of my dad so so impressed and proud All right. well thank you very much for being on the show thank you thank you appreciate it buddy Father, Son, and Holy Coach will be playing at the White Fire Theater from July 23rd to August 30th. For more information, go to www.holycoach.net or search for AMB Theater, that's all one word, AMB Theater on Facebook.